<laughs> Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy TJ Chelsea back with another video and today I am going to be talking about my new film Daredevil Trial and Prosecution and uh, basically what the plot is because um, it just came out of nowhere saying we're making a Daredevil film and none of you guys know about it. I think we dropped, we dropped the official trailer but it was just like, I don't think there was barely any talking in it and we didn't get much dialogue. So I am making a new trailer, which is the final trailer, which will talk about more of the like plot and stuff. But I thought I'm here to tell you what the plot is technically like. So uh, without any further ado, let's do this. So in this film, we will not be going over the origin of Daredevil, but we are kind of in a way. So, um... I'd say this is year two of Daredevil, probably year two of Daredevil, year three of Daredevil, something like that. And um, we're trying to give off like really like dark vibes, a bit like the Batman, but we're going to make it very different from the Batman because, um, yeah. So Matthew Murdoch is a uh, lawyer. So there is going to be one trial scene in the film and it's going to be amazing. We're going to be filming that tomorrow because tomorrow's we've got a big shoot day. But the person who uh, wants insurance for the trial uh, is actually a big, big character coming up in my uh, Marvel universe, and um, it's it's really mad. It's really mad um, who it is. It is someone very surprising, and it is in a scene. This scene I'm showing you right here. But it's in that scene, but. Um, yeah, so in the trailer, it's like on a zoom in, so you can't see the other person. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be good. I'm really excited. But um, what this film really is about, it's about Matthew Murdoch on medications. And I'm not trying to make that silly. I'm being dead serious when I say this. He is trying to find a cure for his blindness. I know it's a very, very different story, but it will work. Trust me. So um, he, he, he's like going like ho hospitals, doctors, he, he's trying to not be blind so he can become a better superhero and like maybe like just help himself out more. But the thing is he finds it and uh, he, he finds the tablets to um, help him. He, th there's no blind cure but he takes these tablets and it helps him with his sight a little bit. So. What I'm showing you right now is what he can technically see when he's taking the medications. But the thing is, when he takes those medications, he struggles with his powers because he has hearing powers and that. So those sort of go away when he's doing that. So it's a challenge for him. So that's sort of what you can understand for the film. And the action sequences, I'd say we're going to really, really work on them because I am so excited to do the action scenes. I've done a few and they look sick, but I think tomorrow we're gonna be doing some more sort of like choreograph and that, just to make the film really, really good. And the actors are absolutely amazing. Uh, we've got uh, James returning, not as Dr. Octavius, but um, but like, you know, he's in the film. And um, we've got Finley Golek, me obviously, and uh, my friend Jack Ames, who's also in it. And um, obviously Noah, and also my friend Sam as well, um, who was in the uh, Gangster Heist actually. Um, so we've got a good, got a good set of cast, and um, I'm super excited to film tomorrow. So yeah, we're gonna be exploring Matthew Murdoch's sort of challenge to see if he wants to cure. I, I'd, I'd say cure, just help out his blindness, but his powers go. So, so he has a decision to make. So um, that's what I'm saying. No more spoilers, but um, we've got uh, my dad, Benjamin Lake, returning as the Kingpin, so um, the main villain. But um, it's not just going to be all of like the stuff. There's also going to be stuff about, I don't want to say anything, but um, there's going to be stuff with, with involving Kingpin as well. So that's what sort of makes the film getting going with the action. But um, with the medication stuff, I thought that would be great to do with his blindness and Noah sort of helped out with the plot for that because I was really struggling because I really wanted to make this Daredevil film. And uh, yeah, um, just another few updates. So we've actually made a really, really short film, like two minutes, three minutes, four minute film. 
and it's called Octopus Hunted or Octavius Hunted. I forgot the title to be fair, but um, it's um, since Spider-Man Impossible Darkness did not have a very good ending, and I do admit that. Me and James made a uh, short film of how he escaped and that. So um, I'm very excited to show you guys that. That should be coming out in uh, about a month or so, maybe less. But I'll, I'll, I'll release a little teaser soon. But um, yeah, I'm super excited for that. And Superman is not cancelled. We're still going to work on that. We've just taken a bit of a break with the Christmas stuff. But it will be coming out this year. Uh, I'm not sure when, but definitely this year. And definitely before September, hopefully. I'm not sure. And um, Spider-Man 4 is still in the works and uh, it's going really well. And uh, yeah, that's it. Good to see you guys in a bit. Yo, yo, calm down. Please, please. Oh, oh you're right, you're right. 